Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm in Wimberley, Texas today. And Wimberley is very well known for its marvelous swimming areas along the river. So I'm going to show you some of those in this video, starting with the Blue Hole. The Blue Hole Regional Park is right in downtown Wimberley. Here's one of the swimming areas. And this is just past the summer season, so you won't see anybody swimming today probably. But I have been here in years past when I've seen over a hundred people swimming here and jumping out of the trees, rope swings, here's a chain swing, and they even actually encourage you to climb up that tree and jump out which is kind of amazing in this day and age <laughs> with the safety worries <laughs> they used to have a diving board here yeah I bet you probably in the season, they will put the board. They might over put it out. Too. Yeah. They might put it out during the summer. I don't know if they still have it. Yeah, I would say during the summer they will, and also they will pull those uh, those uh, swing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And everything closer. No, no. There's very nice swimming areas all up and down the river for miles. Mm -hmm. But what's so nice about this? place is that it's shaded oh, yeah. completely over yeah. outside of the city mm -hmm. the river has got some nice trees like this and swimming areas but it's all open sun and according to the website they said this is the best swimming hole in Texas yeah, yeah. I bet yes yeah so we should cross just and the, go over this I don't know it nice says so it's a private property really yeah it says that it's, there's a sign that says private, yeah, really? private property. Looks like there's some kind of a cabin. Yeah. An old cabin over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there's a sign that says private property. So, no. Yeah. Where is that? It must be nice to, have, to own a piece of property like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good location, huh? <laughs> Looks like there was a diving board or something here too. And also right next to the river is this green area and some concrete picnic tables over there up against this. Looks like it's a canyon, a rock canyon wall. By the way, that's not really a river. It's Cypress Creek. In Texas, sometimes it's hard to distinguish rivers from creeks because <laughs> the creeks are so large in a lot of places. This is Cypress Falls, another really nice swimming area, which is just a few miles north of Wimberley. The this is the Cypress Creek. <laughs> Look how large this thing is. I can't get to the other side of the falls because this is private property. And right behind me here is a restaurant. So I think this is all private property. But of course for a fee they will let you come in. It certainly looks like it's not at all a natural falls. Looks like this was just built up. I don't know the history of it. But over there are some interesting rock formations. This would be a good place to have lunch and go swimming or canoeing right here on the creek. 
I think somebody is having a wedding here today. And the photographers are out taking the pictures of the bride, I guess. This is the road that you drive over the bridge here. And that's an interesting waterfall along the bridge. You can get down to the creek right here to go in swimming. Easier to get in over there, I think. This is the other side of the bridge. And the water here looks like it is barely moving, if any, as this bridge is actually a dam. Here's a sign about the Cypress Falls. I'm looking for Jacob's well and somehow this sign just isn't helping any. This is Jacob's well which is about six miles north of Wimberley. Unfortunately, I am here in October. It's not very deep, but it does look like a nice place to play in the water. It has both shaded and sunny areas. I'm not sure, but I guess this is the well. So if you want to swim where it's deep, this would be it. They also have some picnic tables here. I'm standing in a gully here. And as you can see here, this is where it all begins. This is Cypress Creek. And the well is just a few yards down from there. So this would definitely be a nice place to come in the summer. By the way, Wimberley does not have a Walmart and it does not have a McDonald's. Wimberley is one of those towns that is very restrictive as to what restaurants and businesses it will let come in. The only fast food restaurant they have is a Dairy Queen and it really surprised me that they do not even have a Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger seems to find its way in every little town in Texas. One place I would recommend you come is this Brookshire Brothers grocery store. They have a gas station and this is where I parked my motorhome all night long and nobody bothered me at all. The grocery store has its own restaurant inside and it even has a salad bar and a sushi bar 
and it serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this is where I had my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I found this in the back of the grocery store. Well, folks, I hope you have enjoyed my tour of the swimming places in Wimberley. Good day, folks.